hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this 3d logo design into this let's check the intro Digography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to decography design training i believe we are doing great happy sunday to you all huh? so right now i want to show us how we can make a monogram logo on our android smartphone using our pc lab so without wasting much of our time let's get started go to your text area and you have uh, put it in capital letter type letter m then you go to the font area select this particular font called revolving door revolving door you can get it on the on the google Increase the size exactly like this. After increasing the size, position to the center, copy. Then you position to the center. Now, tap empty area and you bring it text like this. Hide it, move it in. Then you merge something together with it. You merge it with the first uh, capital letter M. That one will allow you to go to eraser and have it erased. Increase the the, the size and you have it erased just exactly like this have it erased so after you raising it the next thing you are going to do you still stay there then you tap on the tap on cotton so after that you can now reposition just as this reposition very well then we are going to cut it so you can see Then we can cut. Now click OK. So after clicking OK, we'll go to the color area. Then we'll give it different color. But we did not cut it very well. So we need to go back and recut because of the button. So we click on back. Then we tap and recut. So this time around, we are making sure that uh, we actually let it. Uh, so. We'll cut it so it should be okay like this click ok so we can reduce the size and have it position here very well so it will just be as that but we need to make it a uh, big so because of that take it for instance if we click on this if we click on this then we'll have it cut let it reach the bottom we click ok then you can see automatically we have this which you can move to the center so now that we have this, the one at the bottom, we will go to the color, then give it this uh, particular gradient, which we can actually reduce. You understand? It could be like this. Why this one will be like, uh, it will be like pure white. Why this one will be ash color. So now that we have this for everything, sorry, let's still go to color. I want to maintain that color very well. So we have something like uh, this. So we have something like this. So now that we have that, we can now merge the two together. Or we shift it up without merging. You don't merge your necessarily, otherwise the design will lose the quality. So we we'll go to the right top where we have we have Musolak musolak so we we'll go to the font we choose lexpata font lexpata then we'll have it old just let it be like this 
then you you turn on the grid to measure which is 3 3 so you measure it very well just as this then we'll go to the color area where we're going to share the color so take it for instance we're going to share this color first we share that color so we give it color like that then we after giving it or we give it this color so after that we go back then we divide the color into two so we are going to split the color into two so it's give to the whole thing so what we are going to do right now we are going to do two things we are going to apply the color for everything then after that we are going to the text area we turn it to picture for us to be able to give it different color so if we turn it to picture we see whether we can give it different color but if that is not possible instead of doing that we can we can uh, manage and do this while we we'll go to color area or go to white uh, let can see this so we tap on this we'll go to this let it be three so it give it to the whole thing so the next thing we're going to do is to just go to the white area so we're able to give this so we'll make it a blur like this it shouldn't be too much so it's just as okay cool so we can actually rotate so these three should carry this while the mini one sorry will carry the rest so we'll go here we apply the camera. don't forget to hit the so subscribe after, button and the bell icon so after that the next thing we're going to do we're going to the text area we will have home of beauty home of beauty so you see so we'll go to the text area I mean the font area where we shall let a bit a cabin we use a cabin or a ventica we use a ventica for that where we we'll have going to space it we're going to space just as this the space shouldn't be too much so we'll position it to the center just as this so after giving it that uh, a, a, a kind of uh, treatment so we are going to just do something to put a finishing touch there so we we'll go to this particular area where we have this then we we'll, we'll, we'll position another one here then we we'll position another one here okay very cool so after that the next thing we are going to do we are going to we are going here by selecting color then we click ok then we'll go to sorry we'll go to mask we turn on the mask to cut out okay So you can turn it on. When you turn it on, then you, you cut it off like this. So you can see the space in between. And how can you cover that? You go to shape. Then we are going to select all these stuff, one after the other. Select them. Then after selecting them, we are going to position them here, one after the other, just like this. We we'll reduce the size a bit shouldn't be too big then we are positioning it here. so we can tap on this and move it up so just move it up to this particular area uh, move it up it's okay like that 
Then the next thing is uh, position it well. Uh, we give it space. So we'll copy. Okay. Copy position. So we are repeating the same process all through. Okay, when you see now, we'll make a justification to all this area. So it's just for alignment to be set. So we are going to align it properly. So now we've done with the alignment as you can see. So which means we are going to just adjust the mask we use here to make it more professional. So for instance, we are going to close the mouth to this area. So when you look at it, everything is actually rhyme, and we can merge everything together and move them at once. So for instance, we we'll move it just a bit. And if you look at it, everything is uh, actually cool. And this is Mosalak Omo Beauty. So everything designed with the help of a what? With the help of a shape. And when you look at it, it's a look awesome. So the next thing is don't match, just have it save directly. So we are saving with the uh, format PNG, then dimension with ultra. So after that, we move our head by presenting it on the logo on the mockup so welcome back guys so this is our photo p you come to the photo p on your chrome browser www.photop.com so after open then you tap from open from my computer click on the photo where you have your mockup in see don't forget to hit the subscribe the button and the bell icon the description of the, of the of this video or i will send it along so after or uh, 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 after importing it then you wait a little bit for it to load and after loading then we can continue with the editing so we're waiting for it to load so now it has load tap on the layer double click hide the logo on it just hide it once you understand don't mind this at time it's malfunctioning exactly like that so we're adding directly to file sorry we're heading to file then open and place click on the file locate where you have that uh, uh, your design design we made on our pc lab now so i want to go to the pc lab folder then i will have it imported so after importing it we can proceed with now you can hold the icon that surround it to drag it to make it a uh, big when the result come out it won't be too small so after loading click on the file and tap save with smart object if you don't uh, choose or use the mockup properly there is probability that uh, the smart object might not be displayed on your phone it means something wrong with the psd file nothing can make the smart object not to be obvious only thing that can make it not to be obvious is when you don't select don't forget the to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon the so you need to understand the basic aspect of that and this mockup after you get it you can if you extract it using said archiver after you extract it the way we extract funds then you can forge ahead and come and uh, uh, follow these uh, steps and you'll be able to get it another thing is this so if you normally find it difficult to run the heavy mockup this mockup is still small you understand very very small in size so you should be able to run it even if your phone is 2 gig ram phone and if you have any issue 
you can join my group for you to learn the pro and cons about the presentation of the mock-up so the mock-up tip is to be you need to take your time you don't need to rush it's not magic there is what we call a buffer that holds information before it becomes processing all the websites on website assets you can see the results so when you look at this thing there are two things involved you understand you see how cool it is i notice something is either you make it big or you make it small this one is not automatic cropping then you can see how the result look like is it awesome then you click export as png then you see how cool it is saved then we'll view the results now so let's look at the results then you can see the results just look at it very cool right so thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something